Right, so the reason I'm teaching you this is because you're going to learn two things here. You're going to learn a key card principle and you're going to learn a slight. So it's a kind of like a two for one deal. What you're going to do is you're going to secretly make sure before you start the trick that the Queen of Hearts is going to be on top of the deck. That's your one little setup for this trick. So the Queen of Hearts is on top of the deck. And then you find someone you're going to do the trick on. In this case, cat is here. Hey. Always here, always cat. Right. Cat, take any card. So you have them pick a card. You can literally take any card that you want. Yeah. Okay. And then I, you can turn away and say, I don't want to see the card. Have a look at the card. Have them have a look at the card. And I'll follow along right now. So it doesn't matter that I see it this time. <laughs> so we know it's nine of clubs. All right. Nine of clubs. So what I do here is I just cut the deck. Now, remember, your queen of hearts is on top here. Right. So I just cut the deck and I say, pop your card in the card somewhere. And then you drop this on top. Okay, now that looks pretty fair. It looks like you've simply put the card in the deck and it's now lost in the deck. However, you know that it's next to the Queen of Hearts. So to find that card, you say, I'm gonna try and find your card, but I need an assistant. And you say, my assistant is the Queen of Hearts. So you run through the deck and you're gonna do this with the cards towards yourself so they can't see what you're doing, but I'm gonna lower the card so you guys can follow along. All I'm doing is I'm running through the cards like this. and I spot the Queen of Hearts here. Sneaky. Sneaky, <laughs> it is. And I know the card to the left of the Queen of Hearts is going to be Cat's card, or that is going to be the card that they chose. So all I do is I cut the deck at that point and I put these to the back, bringing the Queen of Hearts to the face and their card directly underneath it. Now remember you do that all with the cards towards your chest so that they can't see what you're doing. So you say it's the Queen of Hearts, it's my assistant. It's going to tell me what your card is. Now you already know what the card is because you saw it as you just went through the cards to get the Queen of Hearts, right? So all I do now is I put the cards, I'm going to put the cards in my right hand like this in, uh, in Biddle Grip, which is in the basic section. And I put the cards to my ear and I say, I think it was a black card, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was a black card. And uh, she says it's a club. Mm -hmm. It's a club. Now to find the card, you're going to show the Queen of Hearts on the bottom of the deck like this. And it, it's going to look like you take the card and place it onto the table in front of them. But here's what you're going to do, and this is the sneaky part. However, to show you guys, I'm going to tilt up just so you can see what's going on underneath the deck. So this is kind of like a, a worm's eye view. All I'm doing with my fingers of my left hand, I'm going to slide this across like this. And that then exposes their card underneath. And all I do is I reach underneath and I just take their card and I place it right in front of them. Right. So that's the secret move. This is called a glide. It's a variation of the glide. Uh, it's a sort of classic sleight of hand move. So once again, right hand just slides this fingers across. Now this is covered by the back of your hand here, so they can't see that happening. Okay, but this is what's actually happening. And then you reach underneath and you take their card and you slide it out. This is how it should look. It looks like you say, the Queen of Hearts, I'm gonna take it, place it right in front of you, mm -hmm. okay? And then I put this off to one side and I say, place your hand on it. Okay, and we cast the shadow over the card. What was your card? The nine of clubs. Nine of clubs, turn it face up, have a look. Whoa! Whoa! And then they run away like a David Blaine TV no special. Way. Right, so that's Whispering Queen. So you've got two things to look at there. You've got the key card principle, and you've also got the glide. So two things to practice. Go away, practice them, and I'll see you for the next trick.